welcome to the English version of Gigi Taro. I hope you guys are doing well. So um, just to give you a quick update, I decided to translate the right I do I do the right after I do the French uh, uh, spread of uh, the the tarot for each sign. I decided to translate it live because most people actually listen to their tarot reading uh, while uh, on their cell phone while walking around or just being in the bus or driving, you know. So I felt that I would reach most much more people instead of just doing the subtitle in English uh, by just translating, translating afterwards. So um, just to be fair, this week I'm doing the translation of the spread that I did in English, but next week, uh, not next week, in the next two weeks when I'm going to do the first half of July, I'm going to start to do the spread um, live with the English uh, with uh, in English and then I'll, then I'll translate in French. So please, uh, dear Libra, please consider that this is going to be a general reading. So contrary to a personal reading, it might not all resonate with you. So take what, what belongs to you and let go of the rest. If that reading doesn't resonate with you at all, I hope it will because it's freaking nice. <laughs> so if that reading uh, doesn't re um, resonate with you at all, uh, you can always watch the video um, um, in link avec your rising sign, one of your rising signs. So let's start my dear uh, Libras. You had a beautiful reading. The reading started that you're leaving something behind with the Eight of Cups here. You're leaving something behind to go forward with all your might, all your might into a new relationship. Because the, the Eight of Cups is followed by the Chariot and right after the Chariot, you guys had the Lovers. So there's a new connection, there's someone that you met and it's really, uh, because there's so much fire in that reading, Right after the lovers, we had the Ace of Wind and the Princess of Wind. It's like that connection that you have with that person is out of this world. Um, the passion between the two of you, between after, uh, with the Ace of Winds followed by the, the, the Page of Wind is so deep, so fiery, so... Um, so, uh, deep and fiery are the best two words that comes to mind right now that you feel that it's out out of this world uh, and it it brings because the general um the general um energy for the reading was the high priestess in reverse it feels so unreal that you're having doubts you're having doubts about that connection but you need to know that fiery passion that you're having with that person, um, that unbelievable sex that you're having with that person is not just physical, it's also spiritual and that the connection is real. It's not an addiction because sometimes, you know, we feel, oh my God, I'm addicted to the, his or her body. Um, it, it's maybe just about sex. It's just physical. No, with the devil in reverse here, it's not an addiction. It's really something deeper that you guys are are going through. So we decided um, earlier because of that connection and the doubt that you're having to go and explore what is the feeling and intention and how does that person that um, you're connecting with, with and having that type of uh, passion with uh, is feeling to and what are, what is co causing all those doubt? So the first card that came out for your person was the Queen of Pentacles followed by the Six of Pentacles reverse. Like I said earlier, your person uh, that you've met has has some deep feelings for you. Is uh, he, he wants to build a relationship with you? It's not someone that started that connection with you. Um, without any uh, long-term intent. But the thing is, um, the way that he exp that person express um, their feelings towards you is not in the same intensity that you are giving it away. So there's an imbalance there with the six 
of pentacle reverse and also followed by the knight of cuff reverse it's like that person sometimes you wonder what are their feelings towards you you wonder because maybe they don't express it verbally uh maybe out of the bedroom it's something that it's a bit colder but i the way that i sense it it's mostly someone that is mostly an introvert someone maybe that uh has difficulty expressing uh, what he needs to say, but that he can show it to you in a different way. And I'm saying that also because right after the Ten of Cups, that says that that person loves you deeply and wants something long term with you and is really deeply in love with you. It's followed by the Knight of Sword. Knight of Sword. Swords are, are, are a card of communication and action. So uh, sometimes you feel that. That person is not expressing, like I was saying earlier, clearly uh, his intention towards you. Uh, maybe his action is not uh, as clear as they should be, but in the bedroom it's something else. And we have it here with the Ten of Cups. We know that that person wants something deep with you. It's just a question of, um, of showing it better um, and not just through the physical... Um, uh, the physical part of the relationship with the seven of um with the seven of um what's happen with the seven of uh when's reverse sorry uh, it's it's like if there was any competition anything standing uh against you it's not there anymore okay so you guys are going through something wonderful and and uh, just just leave it. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying but that's what I'm, I feel. And also when we try to clarify uh, afterwards to give you with the Oracle cards um, to know what is the um, what is the message from the Oracle to, from that relationship to give you advice. It says here it was a, I, I'm telling you when we just get, came out with the card. I was said no, no, it's like putting a nail in that beautiful reading. Because the card that came out was nothing will come of this situation. Yes, that is the title. But we went and clarified in the book and it says so something better may be around the corner. I believe here that the message is right after that you left what's behind, that you left behind uh, as a relationship with the Eight of Cup brought is bringing you that new relationship, that new passionate relationship that uh, that you deserve and that nothing will come of this situation. Don't matter if you have doubt of that what you left behind was better, it's not it. This is what it's going to be the main thing for you at the end of the month of June and continuing. Believe that what you will get, what you need, surrender to the divine. Those were the messages. So here, Libras, you're having a beautiful romance coming your way. Don't worry if, if that person doesn't express too much verbally and through action um, in the daily, uh, daily routine, how they feel. But it's someone may, that is maybe an introvert, maybe that went through something difficult where, where maybe they said too much and they, they, they got hurt afterwards. Give them time to warm up to you and things will get better. Because here, the only conclusion we can come out of that reading is that that person loves you deeply, wants a long-term relationship with you, and whatever passion you guys are having is his way of expressing to you how much they care about you. So that's about it for you Libras for uh, the week of the from the 15th to the 30th of uh, June. Hope that the reading had resonated with you. If yes, I invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>